Hey guys, I know I've already talked about how to become a realtor, tips on how to choose a broker. So now today I wanna to talk about if I were a new agent, just got my license, what I would do to get my first deal. So what I would definitely do and what every broker is always going to recommend and nobody likes doing it, but it is the most effective and that's how I get most of my deals, is your sphere, sphere. A weird word so your sphere of influence what is your sphere of influence it's everybody that you know it's everybody that's in your phone and it's everybody that you have on facebook and on instagram that's where you're most likely even though you might think oh my god this is embarrassing i don't want to ask all of my friends and everybody that i know that i went to high school with if they know anybody that wants to buy or sell real estate but sorry to break it to you that is the easiest way to get a deal. And I feel like maybe once you start getting deals that way, you will learn to love it, because I love it. It's a little bit awkward, it's a little bit hard. Maybe people won't wanna trust you because they know you just got your license. Let's be real, buying and selling a house, most people only do it once, twice, maybe three times in their life, and it's a pretty big decision for them. And maybe you feel like they're not gonna trust you with the purchase. Don't feel like that because the biggest thing here in real estate is you cannot have limiting beliefs. You cannot be thinking, oh no, what is this person gonna think of me? Um, am I gonna bother them? If you have these thoughts, then you're not gonna succeed, then you're not gonna sell, then you're not gonna eat, and then you're not gonna be a realtor next year. So first step, go to your sphere of influence. What are other ways that you can get business right away? Like now business, we're talking about we wanna get a deal next week. You can cold call. How do you cold call and who do you call? There's dialer systems specifically for real estate agents that you can use. There's so many different ones. There's Redex, Vulcan7, Arc Agent, Follow Up Boss. There's Batch Dialer, that's more for real estate um, investing. There is call tools for real estate investing more, but you can really use it for anything. Those are like dialers that either already give you the lists of people to call, such as expired listings, people who were trying to sell their home and didn't succeed, or for sale by owners, people who are trying to sell their house on their own. Those are the two main groups of people that real estate agents love to target for business. And you could also target pre-foreclosures, people who are in danger of losing their house people who are getting a divorce, are moving, absentee owners, you can target tired landlords, Google scripts, you can watch a bunch of YouTube videos on how to do cold calling, but that's very effective. Nobody likes to do it, it's honestly the worst thing, but um, it is effective, it's still effective. It's becoming less effective only because these days there's so many scam likelies out there and a lot of people are doing it, people don't really answer the phone anymore. Trust is kinda like going away with that, I feel like it probably was easier back in the day to cold call somebody when it was more common, but it is still effective. Like if you're looking for now business, it's a cheap, effective way of getting now business, but it's not easy. Another one that goes hand in hand with that is door knocking. Yes, people still door knock. I door knock. I'm actually gonna go door knock later and I'm gonna take my son with me. You can door knock just houses in your neighborhood. You can door knock expired listings. Like I just said, you can door knock for sale by owners. You can door knock the same pre foreclosures and whatever you find, just instead of calling them, you'll just go to the door and you knock on the door and you ask if they know anybody who might be interested in selling or if they're interested in selling. I mean, there's tons of different scripts, but that's more details. Those three methods are honestly probably the main things that I would recommend to you. Are there other methods that you can get business? For sure. Advertising still works, I wanna say. I wanna say the postcards still work, Facebook ads, networking events, so many things. But if you want now business, if you wanna get a deal next week, if your life depends on getting a deal, hit up your sphere of influence. Go cold call and go door knocking and you're definitely gonna get a deal. Let me know how it goes, thumb it up.